man. What am I going to do for a video this week? It's called Quick Tip Tuesday, so I need a quick tip. Hey, what's going on? Just trying to figure out what I'm going to do for Quick Tip Tuesday. Oh. High pass filters. Trust me. All right. Okay, so this is John from johnmitchellvoices.com, and today we're going to be talking about high pass filters. A super useful tool when mixing anything from heavy guitars and bass to cleaning up voiceover and narration, which for the sake of this tutorial is what we'll be focusing on today. This is Quick Tip Tuesday. Let's head into Reaper and see what we got. Okay, so here's a short clip of some narration. A high pass filter can be used to remove low frequencies that may be detrimental to your mix. Sounds normal, right? The thing is, depending on the environment you've recorded in, especially if you have less than ideal treatment, you may have low frequency hum or noise in the subfrequencies that, while difficult to hear with the naked ear, can build up over time, resulting in the dreaded ear fatigue while also muddying up your track and killing your headroom. You may not be able to hear it now, but this will become much more apparent when you are mastering your final tracks later on. We can clean this up with a high-pass filter. What is a high-pass filter? Well, as the name suggests, it's a filter that lets the high frequencies pass through, killing off the low-end frequencies. Come on, let's take a look. Now, I'm using Re-EQ in Reaper, which is static, meaning you set the cutoff and that's it. This can be good for a variety of sources, but in some instances, if your mix is really busy or if you have an element of an instrument that you'd like to showcase at a certain point, you'll want to use automation on your filter. But that's an entirely different topic for another day. For narration, since you aren't singing or competing with other instruments, it's super important to have a clean, low end. This can be achieved normally by setting your filter between 80 and 100 Hz. I wouldn't really go over 100 hertz because, well, let's just listen to it. A high pass filter can be used to remove low frequencies that may be detrimental to your mix. Hear that? Going too far will kill the fundamental of your voice, leaving your track sounding thin. If we stick between 80 and 100 hertz, we should be good. I know my voice works well at around 85 hertz, but you might find between 80 to 100 hertz works for you. Uh, it just really helps clean up the low end. And that's a quick tip for Quick Tip Tuesday. Let me know if you have any suggestions for anything you'd like me to cover in the future. Until next time. <laughs>